Welcome to this other session on the student questions. Here, Dylan is trying to understand why some vectors have to represent words, as we could see in the slide right here. To answer that question, we shall get back to the fundamentals. Recall that in machine learning, we have a model in which we pass in some inputs and the corresponding outputs and then later on we use that trained model in such a way that when given an input we are able to generate the outputs let's take the example of machine translation suppose we have this input i love the sea it's translated output in french is je dors la mer now what we'll do here is we shall take in say a hundred thousand of such examples so in another example we could say take an input say deep learning with tensorflow 2 then the french translation will be l'apprentissage approfondi avec tensorflow 2 and this is repeated a hundred thousand times or even more times as we saw previously and then once we train the model on this data set on this very large data set we then can pass an input like, for example, I love my country, and then the model will automatically output J'adore mon pays. Nonetheless, it's important to note that machine learning models are simply mathematical functions. And that said, they don't directly take in these words. So you don't expect the model to take in as input these words, since the model is a mathematical function. And so to solve this problem, what we do in machine learning generally is we're converting each and every word in the sentence into a vector, which itself is made up of numbers. And a common vector representation is the one heart representation, wherein we have a vocabulary of possible words, and then each word has a particular position in that vocabulary. So in this case, the word J occupies the second position in the vocabulary. This apostrophe occupies a given position. Ador occupies the first position. Mon occupies the last position. Pe occupies second last position. And then exclamation sign occupies a given position in this vocabulary. And so with this, instead of passing the model, for example, Ador, what we instead pass is this vector made up of these words, which this mathematical function here understands. In the section on mastering neural networks with TensorFlow 2, and more precisely, this one on the IMDB dataset understanding, we shall explain in detail how these words are converted into the one hot vector. And also, we shall look at other representations. That said, see you next time, hope this helps, and in case you have any other worry, feel free to ask them.